Okay, look at that. Seven o'clock and it looks like everything's working. Let's see if we can make this thing work today. Stick around. Today we're talking about what you should do every day to be successful. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. Friday, we had a multitude of technical difficulties, including my laptop didn't want to route audio through it, and then the internet quit working. But all that's fixed now, apparently, and so we are back. Uh, looks like we are live, so we'll just take it and run with it. When you get here this morning, whether you're watching live or on the replay, doesn't matter. Whether you're in the central time zone, eastern, pacific, whatever's on the other side of the world. All those are awesome too. Just leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning, how you doing? Any of those work for me, make me feel good, and uh, glad that you are here this morning. So, many mornings you guys know, the guys, uh, those of you that watch on a regular basis know. My audio looks pretty low. How's that? Um that watch on a regular basis anyway, know that, uh, I like to do quotes, but I got something in the mail from a friend the other day. Uh, see if you can see that it's called pod decks actually. Yeah. Pod decks, pod decks .com. Go check those out. Um, so they're like playing cards. There's a whole deck of them. See it's a whole, whole, whole deck of them. Just like that. Hey, good morning, Doreen. Good to see you here this morning. So, um, in, uh, th this week, since this week's kind of a, a funky week this week with Christmas going on, I decided to go through the pod deck. So there's two decks. There's one for episode suggestions, one for interview suggestions. And, um, so I decided to go through those instead of doing quotes this week. And the very first one that came up was one I have been putting off doing for a long time. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Share your morning or nightly routine. And let me tell you why I've put off doing this because who cares what I do, right? So that's kind of why I named the episode, uh, what I did this morning, what you need to do every day to be successful. You need to do what you should be doing in order to be successful. Hey Joe, good morning. So my routine, I can tell you, and I will, I'll tell you what my routine is, but don't go through and scribe it all down to make it yours, right? Make your routine yours. I don't know what you need to do. I can give you some suggestions, but here's, so for me, here's, I just, I kind of script the, the beginning of the day and the end of the day. And then everything in between, I just kind of let its, its own thing happen. And actually, before I get to that, let me tell you why whether you follow mine, whether you find somebody else's, Hal Elrod's got a book called Miracle Morning. Great book. It's where I got a lot of mine from uh, and then adapted it to fit me. Whether you follow mine or somebody else's, the reason that this is important, the reason any habit is important is because it takes the responsibility for figuring out what to do away from the, the neocortex the, the the new part of your brain. It puts it down into habit and it just clicks off and it happens every day. And you don't even have to think about it, right? When you have to think about something, you can argue with yourself and rationalize your way out of doing it. If it's habit, you just find yourself doing it before you even think about, well, why am I doing this? So it takes, and it takes a while, but I'll share another stat with you here in just a minute. Let me get into mine real quickly. Get up, take care of the bodily function thing, and then immediately go to the kitchen, drink a big glass of water. I happen to know that this glass is 22 ounces because I measured it. Um, big glass of water. Hydrate yourself. You get dehydrated throughout the night, get some water in there. If you want to put a little drop of lemon or something in there, that's awesome too. I drink a big glass of water. Sometimes I'll drink too. 
um, cause I take a lot of supplements, but I do that while I'm sitting, while I'm standing there drinking my water. Right. So I got my potassium, my juice plus all, all that stuff that's going in, goes in first thing in the morning. And while I'm doing that, I got my earbuds in. So I guess I'm out of order here. I get up, put my earbuds in and I start listening to my plate, my morning playlist. There's a couple of songs in there, but the, the reason that I do that is because that's, that's kind of my timekeeper. I know where I should be by the time the second song starts playing, I should be stretching, right? Because by the time the third one, the, the third item on the playlist starts playing, I should be doing my little mini workout. And I do this mini workout every day, whether I go do another workout, whether I'm at home, whether I'm on the road every day, right? It's really simple, requires no equipment. It's just a little mini workout, but it gets the blood flowing. For me, it's push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. For you, it might be something else, right? Something to get the blood flowing. You, so we've hydrated. Now you got blood flowing to your brain. The creative part of your brain can take over and get to work. It's got the fuel that it needs, right? And then so after my little mini workout, sit down and meditate for a little while. And I've got a pretty specific pattern. If you're interested in that, send me a message. I'll tell you what the pattern is. The point is right? To be intentional about how you start your day. And that's something that lets me think through, you know, what's working, what's not working right in the body, and then be intentional about what I'm going to do. I also spend some time being grateful. And over the last couple of weeks, we talked a lot about gratitude and how gratitude and faith kind of, you know, play together there. So go back and listen to some of those episodes, but kind of think through that, be intentional. And then immediately after that, and I left it in the living room, I grab my notebook, my composition book and, uh, and write you know, a whole stack of them over there next to the wall. And that's where I write. So the things that I thought about that I need to get done today, I plan the day and grab my coffee somewhere in there and then go out and start the day. Now, Here's the thing that most of you will object to, everybody except Joe. Yes, absolutely, Catherine. Purposeful action creates purposeful results. I start all that pretty early. 4.30, in fact. Now, here's why. You don't have to do that. I do that so that I can have all of that done by 6 o'clock. Then at 6 o'clock, I've got time to get up get more coffee, get a shower, get something planned for the show, whatever I need to do, right? I start my day from quiet, not from crisis. Think about this for a minute. If you set your alarm clock for 30 minutes before you're supposed to be out the door and anything happens, like happened to us yesterday, the power blinked just long enough to reset all the clocks. Well, if anything happened and, and your alarm doesn't go off, your feet hit the floor in crisis. I prefer to start my day from quiet and calm because how you start the day is how you end the day. If you begin the day in crisis, you will end the day in crisis and it'll be stressful and crisis filled all day long. So just don't do that. So Here's the point, and, and so now I've fulfilled my requirement for the, the, the uh, pod deck. Here's the point I want you to take away. I want you to think about what, the, what a nice, if like this, and this, this is a good week to do it because a lot of us are taking time off this week. <clears throat> if you had as much time as you wanted every morning, how would you choose to start the day? Maybe you grab a cup of coffee and a book. Maybe you, now you will notice none of that, that I, I, I do pick up my phone to turn the playlist on, but that's like two buttons. And then I put it down. I don't sit there and read the mail. I don't sit there and check text messages. I don't even look at the thing till six o'clock, but how would you, how would you start your day? If you had all the time in the morning that you wanted, how would you start the day and then figure out a way to do that. Now, here's the thing for me, the only way to do that was to get up earlier. I spent many years of my life in uncle Sam's service, getting up way earlier than I wanted to. And when I was done with that, I was like, you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. 
And then I began to find myself beginning more and more days in crisis. So I backed up. Now, do I need to go to bed earlier to do that? Yes. I won't tell you what time. Actually, last night, uh, I probably went to bed about 9.30 last night. Friday night, I think it was Friday night. It might have been Thursday night. About 8.45 was as far as I could go. I'm like, all right, honey, I'm out of here. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, if that doesn't work for you, figure out ways to work around that. Take a nap in the afternoon, right? Yes. Now, Joe's got a great point. I'm running way long today because I'm excited about this topic, right? But the first step in creating a process is to start with something that can be duplicated and effective to get results. So whether that's a business process or your daily process, find one thing that you can replicate and make that a priority. And if you need to get up earlier to make it happen, find what works for you and put it to work. Yeah, I agree with that, Catherine. If you need to get up earlier, don't don't go from getting up at 6.30 or 7, because I know you're up at 7 because you're watching this, to 4.30, just back it up 15 minutes for a couple of days. 1% change. This is what I'm going to leave you with. A 1% change every day, it only takes 71 days to make 100% improvement. 72 days. A rule of 72, right? only takes 72 days to double your results. If you can do, you know, I don't know, 10 push-ups today. A 1% improvement says that in 71 days you're doing 20. Or whatever, whatever applies to you. All right, find that one thing or that couple of things and begin scripting it. And as you get that thing down, you get that nailed down, add another thing to the list until you've got your own routine that works for you in the morning. And then in the evening, do the same thing. Just work backwards, right? Say after eight o'clock, after nine o'clock, no, no more phone after nine o'clock. Oh, man, <laughs> that's dangerous, isn't it? All right, that's it for today. It's Monday. Uh, I will be here tomorrow. I'm doing the radio show tomorrow, so I'm going to be here Christmas Day, I'll probably take the day off. And then, who knows? We'll have to see how the rest of the week goes. But you should be here. Something will be up every day, whether it's recorded or live. So uh, be sure. Check back in. I'll uh, appreciate you being here when you do that. Hey, one final thing before we go. Somebody in your network needs to hear this message today. Go ahead and click that share button either underneath this video. If you're watching on YouTube, it's right down there on your right. Uh, if you're listening in your favorite podcast catcher, it's somewhere on the screen. Click the share button, send them a text message, and include the link to this show. They will appreciate you, and I will too. You guys have a great Monday, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.